we're just gonna let Amazon buy everything, right? They can buy grocery stores, movie theater chains. What's next? They'll buy my house? <laughs> What's going on you guys, James here with another real bit of news and today we're talking all about the unconfirmed, purely speculative article that surfaced Sunday morning about Amazon possibly merging with AMC Entertainment, which of course owns the AMC theaters that you're very familiar with. We'll talk about why the reports are confirmed, but this actually could be a possibility in the future. Now before we get into all that news, if this is your first time here at the channel, welcome to Real James. If you're wondering who that is, that's this guy, and I love talking all about movies. So if you like what you hear and what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel below and tapping on the bell right next to it. You guys, we're almost to 2,000 subscribers, and it's all because of your help. The more subscribers we get, the more awesome content I can deliver just like this. And don't forget to smash that like button, share this with your friends, and leave comments below and let me know guys, sound off. Is this something that you would like to see or do you want Amazon to stay away from movie theater chains for a while? Also, if you're looking for a couple reviews I've already dropped this week, you can find my review for Tom Hardy's Capone and the new Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt movie, Kimmy vs. The Reverend. Those links are in the description below or you can find them at the top of the screen as the video goes on. Okay, so enough of that bit of housekeeping. Let's talk all about this report. Now, I saw the headline, didn't click into the headline because I figured it was just a rumor, and it really is. The first initial report came from the UK's The Daily Mail, and if you know about that website, it's more rumor-centric, and it's not really hard news most of the time. And of course, Deadline went and confirmed that yes, this is just speculation. Their sources tell them nothing's happening. Amazon said they don't comment on speculation, and AMC Entertainment said they have no comment at all. So it sounds really speculative. There's no concrete evidence that this merger is going to happen or happen anytime soon because it is really a good conversation to have when you think about a purely digital platform like Amazon trying to go after theater chains because there's been this tug and pull. You know, we recently seen news articles from Universal and AMC theaters saying that they're not getting along. AMC theaters said, nope, we're not screening Universal movies anymore because Trolls World Tour went to PVOD right away, and Universal's not backing down from their claim that they want to simultaneously release their movies in theaters and also on digital platforms. So it's a very interesting tug of war match. But for this specific report to come out at the time it did, it stirs up some good conversation, honestly, because Amazon really is no stranger to acquiring big name companies. This leads me to believe this isn't totally out of the cards. So let's go ahead and break down the good and the bad about this possible merger if it were to ever happen. Immediately, my mind goes straight to ticket prices and concession prices. Listen, we all know that at, not only at AMC theaters, but at Regal and different theater chains, the cost of going to the movies has gradually gone up year after year, which is the big argument for people who want to stay at home to watch movies. Although this guy, of course, is still fighting for that theater experience because it is well worth the $10, $15 you'll spend on a movie ticket, well, of course, if the movie's good. And like I said before, Amazon has merged with Whole Foods and they made them competitive. So people who were not attracted to Whole Foods before now find themselves shopping for deals. So it makes sense if Amazon were to acquire AMC Entertainment that they would lower the ticket prices to get more people in. And I could definitely see Amazon offering an incentive for Prime members too, similar to what they do at Whole Foods, where if you were to scan your barcode in the Amazon app or the new AMC Entertainment app, if this merger were to happen, you would be able to, I don't know, gain points or sort of like a reward system. We know that Regal and Cinemark has something just like that, but this would be something unique to Amazon. And of course, the biggest question is, what about Amazon Studios? I would imagine that all bias included, if you're on Amazon's side, that they they would probably screen more of their Amazon Studios movies on the big screen. However, we know this as moviegoers and as a film journalist or lover of the film industry, you have to look and see that Disney is taking up, for example, a ton of screens. So how would Amazon work? Would they would they play nice with Disney or would they say, let's chill, you know, let's go ahead and I'm going to put all Amazon Studios movies on the big screen and we'll still have Disney films playing and everything else. But we want to give some love to our smaller, more digital centric films. So that's pretty much all of the good I can see coming from this merger if it were to happen, but the thing is there's a lot of bad that does come with this as well. If this merger were to happen, let me tell you, it would scare so many theater chains and especially theater owners into thinking, oh man, if Amazon's taking over, does that mean they're really going to try to kill that theater experience and push for a smaller timing window between a movie's theatrical release and a movie's digital release, and if that happens, that really does hurt the theater experience quite a bit. And realistically, if Amazon were to take over AMC Entertainment and those theaters, 
yeah, I could see that window shrinking a lot. And then the biggest question is, would Amazon care more about maintaining that movie theater experience, or would they opt for a more, of course, digital friendly playing field for not only their movies, but for their Prime Now app and platform? It becomes a little bit muddy, I guess, like the intentions would have to be made clear and we'd have to see if they'd go through with it. But of course, this is all just conversation based on an unconfirmed report. This is all speculation. However, it does present a decent talking point because you have to look at the numbers for example i mean look i'm not a stocks guy but because of this i think stocks if i'm not mistaken rose 40 percent for amc entertainment after this report came out so there are people out there that want to see this happen and are playing their cards right if it does happen so it's going to be very interesting moving forward you guys but hey so you let me know in the comments below what you think about this news i mean do you want to see amazon acquire amc entertainment or would you rather movie theaters chains just kind of live on their own and not need help from digital platforms and companies kind of like amazon and if you want to see me talk about more news stories just like this go ahead and hit the big red button below because i have a review coming for a certain tv series that is highly anticipated at the end of the month go in the release calendar and See if you can guess which one I'm talking about. Alrighty guys, again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.